Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Verge Currency Electron Wallet, how to install it, how to import and export briefcase and so on. So first you have to go to our website vergecurrency.com slash wallets. Here you can find several wallets. And here we have our Windows Door Electron Wallet. The Door browser is needed for that. Download it and install it and run it. But I'm gonna show you that later. So download it here. For Windows application, you have to use this setup.x. Download it. It's already downloaded. Open it. Now it's telling you uh, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an Unreaction app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. Just ignore that and allow it. Here you can choose your location where you want to install the Electron Wallet. And you also need the door browser for the connection guys. I already downloaded it and it's running at the moment. So you need to run the door browser before you open the Electron Wallet. Here is the Verge Explorer. You can type in your address or transaction ID for checking your balance, if your coins arrived or not. Everything can be checked here on the blockchain from XVG. So the wallet is installed already. Now I'm going to my system. Electrum And here it is I'm opening it now If you already have a default wallet da data, you can choose this from your computer. This should be on C drive, uh, username, app data, roaming, Electrum XVG, wallets. I will show you that later. But now let's pretend uh, it's our first wallet and we don't have anything yet. So we click on next here. Now it's asking you what kind of wallet do you want to create. A standard wallet, a multi-signature wallet, or import a virtual address or private key. If you already have a private key, you can choose this option. Then you can import your private key and your funds will be there. For importing the virtual address, it only shows your balance. It's only for viewing, like on the Block Explorer. So we are using a standard wallet, then we go into next. 
create a new seat, I already have a seat. Use a master key, use a hardware device, like a USB stick or something like that. So let's create a new seat guys. This is our seat now. You need this seat uh, write down carefully. I would recommend you to print it because if you write it down handwritten maybe one letter is is wrong and you don't have access to your coins anymore then. Here are options. Extend this seat with custom words. If you want to do that, you can land your seat with your own words. It's up to you. I will not use that. I'm gonna copy this right now. Put it here on my notepad. Then I will click on next. Your seat is important. If you lose your seat, your money will be permanently lost. To make sure that you have probably saved your seat, please retype it here. So it's asking you to retype it here. Before you send any funds to this wallet, you can check your seat is correct or not. And this is very great, guys. So I'm gonna copy this seat from my notepad. And I am paste it here. Then I go on next. Now it's asking you for a password. You also have to remember this because if you only have your seat, you will not get back your funds without the password. I don't need a password at the moment, it's up to you guys if you want to use this option or not. Of course it's more secure if you use one. If you have the private key saved later, you don't need the password because the private key is the key you get access to your balance always guys. So I click on next. For security reason, we advise you, we advise that you always use the latest version of Electrum. Would you like to be notified when there is a newer version of Electrum available? Of course, guys. We type on yes because you always uh, should update to the newest wallet. So we click on yes. The first connection to a virtual Electrum server via the Torn network will be available after a restart of the wallet. Please restart the wallet now. Please also remember to start the Tor browser. Okay. So we are gonna restart the wallet right now. Close it. Let's go here again. Let's restart our wallet. It says we are not connected yet, but now you see guys here, we have a blue dot. We are connected. Balance zero XVG, of course, because this is an empty wallet at the moment. Here you have some tools. Show address, show coins, show contracts, show console. Wallet information, this gives you an information of your wallet. Password, we can create a password here if we didn't create any yet. Seat, 
it shows your seat again guys this is very great private keys sweep them sweep private keys if you have a private key from another wallet let's say from the coinemy wallet and read wallet from xvg or from the quid wallet even you can import it here Here you can export your private key there are several addresses here those are our receiving addresses and for each address you have a private key so to check your address which uh, your balance is on you should go to the blockchain explorer type in your address or transaction id then you know you have the right address for the private key so let's close this here you can send make sure you uh, have the right address for your exchange or wherever you want to send your coins to a friend or somewhere description you can label your address let's for example call it to Paul you want to send to your friend Paul you can uh, choose your amount and here you can uh, choose the fee so 0 0.1 XVG is recommend to use and if you think it takes uh, more than 30 minutes for an exchange this is not up to XVG guys because some exchanges need more confirmations on the blockchain than others are doing but if you send from a wallet to a wallet this goes in seconds receive description let's say I made a video and someone want to donate some coins then XVG then you can click on chain here is the QR code this expires in one hour guys and it always creates a new address after that here you can go to text And this is your address, your receiving address. I would rec recommend you always uh, send just a few coins to an address. Let's say if you have a few thousand XVG, just send maybe 10 or 20 to make sure it's the correct address that everything goes well and then send the rest. Because if you send to a wrong address, your money is just gone and you will not get it back. So we could create a lot of addresses here if you want. For each address you have the QR code and the text. This is very great guys. If you click on clear here. Ah, this is just for here so now I want to show you how it looks like when you have a balance on your wallet so I'm closing the wallet right now and let's go here I have to go to my desktop
I will copy this right now. I created this before default wallet dot then I go to my C drive I go to user my username then I'm going to app data if your app data is not showing on your PC then uh, it's it's hidden guys you just have to google it how to un unhide it and then it will show up roaming electrum xvg wallets it already saved uh, the default wallet because i closed the wallet before so i'm gonna delete this now because there are not any funds on it and i will pass the the one where the funds are on now i'm gonna open the wallet again Yeah, there are 10 XPG right now. We are connected. Here is our seat. If you can read this seat, you can uh, keep this XPG. It's for you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you have any questions hit me up on telegram wallet support or if on discord we have a wallet support I wish you fun with XVG guys I hope you enjoyed the video and bye.